Buenos dias. Me amo Benjamin. Damn, I haven't fucking spoke Spanish since like sophomore year in high school. God damn. Anyways, what's up guys? It's Ben. Um, I'm on my way to work. I stopped off, fucking got, got some breakfast, house of bagels, or whatever. Anyways, we're on our way to Vex. I had to go pick up some parts that I ordered a couple weeks ago. Um, not for the Accord, in case you're wondering. Uh, if you see my other videos, there is a Civic build. So you probably fucking hate it. It's a Honda, whatever. I wish I had like something better. But I love them. So let's go. I would park over there because that's strictly Vex parking, but there's no parking. Vex Motorsports. Okay, so we picked up like 500 bucks worth of parts that I ordered. It's all in this bag. I would show you, but I got ahead of work. So we'll check it out when we get home. Yeah, it doesn't look like a lot, does it? But yeah, Vex Motorsports, check them out. I've been going to them for like three, four years now. Hit up Jesse, I'll put it right here, Jesse Mark. And his, uh, I'll put his Instagram and his Facebook and, well, not his number, but I'll put it down below in the comments just in case you guys need to order more parts or whatever you need. Check out my eye bags, though. Check out my eye bags, though. Did I mention that I went to House of Bagels? Yes, I did. Check it out. Plain white, fuck. <laughs> plain white bagel with plain cream cheese. You know why? Because I'm basic. Basic. Basic bagels. Dude, I should open up a bagel spot that says basic bagels. Would you b come and buy my bagels if I had a place that said basic bagels? I think it's a pretty cool name. Man, I'm excited to open this right now, but we're gonna wait till we get home, okay? So I can go more thorough, a further explanation of what I got, why I got it, what I'm building, okay? So we're gonna stay tuned for that, okay? Man, you wanna know what the f did? I was supposed to come home and show you guys the part I got from Vet today, right? But you know what happened on the way home? I got a flat. This is why you don't stretch tires, dude. Look. Dude. This is why you don't stretch tires. Something hit my sidewall. Check it out. Right there. Fuck is that, dude? Oh my god. What is that? Can you see that? Can you see it? Fucking focus, bitch. God fucking damn. Anyways, something hit. And the wheel isn't damaged at all. Look at all that poke. This, this is why. This is why you don't run camber. And this is why you don't poke. And check out the inside. Look, it saved the wheel. Thank fucking God. Look, it saved it. I would be in a bad mood right now, but it's just a tire. The wheel isn't damaged, so we're good. They're not even my wheels. I sold them to a friend, and I'm still rocking them, dude. But fuck, what a fucking night. Shit. CHP was right behind me, too, when this happened. Fuck. What's up guys, it's the morning after. I just woke up, kind of tired. We're about to go grab some food right now. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll change my, change my rear wheels and then go ahead and maybe go buy another pair of tires. We'll see. Hey, we had a night view last night, but this is, I'm about to fucking air out into the barrel. It's like do some Sudani style. That. See how it saved my. See how the tire saved the wheel. So this is what happened. There it go. It looked like it had a bubble, cause when I when I when I flipped the tires, the, the, in, the this used to be on the inner inner barrel, and now it already wore out, and the fucking bead split. 
So it just went plop on the freeway. Well, yeah. We're gonna take this guy's car because it's a four door for more horse. Okay. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. What's up, Tommy? What fitment? What fitment? God damn. Sudani style. Look at that. Damn. What? What? Oh my god. Maybe I should stretch my tires like that from now on. <laughs> this is the way a tire is supposed to be mounted correctly. You have the right aspect ratio and everything. This is for you dumbass stance motherfuckers that like stretching tires. This is why you don't do it. It's a 245 on a 10 and a half. That's a 265 on a 9. You see the difference? So yeah. Let me check this out. Ugh. So the bead popped back to where it should be, right? And it saved the inner barrel. Look, it didn't scratch it or anything. So we're good. Thank goodness. I told you, it's because I had camber. If I didn't have camber, it would have went down south. The outer lip would have been donezo. Yeah. too cheap to buy a, a thin wall socket you just go get some fucking tape and look no scratch no scratch okay okay I'll see we went into this hey this is not this is how to curb a wheel 101 check it out it's how to curb a wheel 101 blah sitting on the floor so I can get good angles It's not even that crazy of a stretch, dude. Look. It's basic. That'd be a dope ass stretch. Yeah, so don't stretch tires, okay? And look at this. There's a 30 mil, 30 millimeter spacer. That's how you get fitment. Okay. Yeah, and, right. And bags. Yeah, right. right. You wanna go check my car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and for you static folks. Hey, we, I used to be static too, okay? And then the opportunity to buy bags came around. That's static. He has no poke, adapters. he has fitment. No adapters, okay? It's getting done right the first time. But as you can see on these wheels, they're actual three-piece, okay? Not no, not no like, Barstow and shit. So these are going to be rebarreled. Stay tuned for that. These are reps. Yeah, these are reps. Made by work wheels, so they're reps. Mm, they're real. Yeah, these are real. I still think these are nicer. So I downgraded from 19th to 18th. All right. These are my favorite wheels and my dream wheels ever since I was a kid. Racing hard C2s. If you know anything about the old tuner import magazines, this is all you saw in the magazines. So my biggest thing was trying to rebuild this into the new generation, you know? So embarrassing though, Fitment's weak. Cause that's all that matters, right? It's not about going fast. Just kidding, it is. Now back to what the original video was for. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I purchased for my Civic. But don't forget to torque your wheels. It's a Honda, 80 foot pounds. I do 10 over aftermarket wheels, so 90. Um, and don't use the fucking torque wrench to remove the lugs. Go get a breaker bar. I have one. It's just not in the video. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.
Look, some custom shit. Disclosed, uh, disclosed trunk spoiler. I can't tell you what it is because the owner here wants to be the one and only. Okay, but anyways, it doesn't fit the car, obviously. So it's JB welded. So now they're gonna mold it to the trunk. So yeah, hopefully that looks nice. Ricer ass. Just kidding, it's clean. It's clean. He gets to take off the ESRs, put his add-ons back on. Oh, it's hella hot today. I was complaining last week that it was gonna be too much rain and now when the sun's finally out, it's like, I'm gonna complain too. But anyways, yes, I'm stupid for stretching my tires, but fitment on point, right? Stupid. <laughs> um, the tires were at 45 PSI, so it wasn't due to low tire pressure for why the bead popped back in. Like I said, when I flipped my tires a couple weeks ago, um, I inspected the inside and it was already torn. So I said, fuck it, let's just flip it on anyways. But as I aired up the tire, there were like micro bubbles along the, the edge. So it wasn't a true circle. So yeah, that's what happened. It, I guess it, it blew up and then the, the bead, the metal bead split and my shit just went flat. So at least I got home safe. Thank the Lord I got home safe. Um, his wheels are still nice. I didn't fuck them up. So we're good. Everything just worked out fine. Okay, so I put my wheels back on. We got some food. Now we're here at Oak Ridge. By the time you see this vlog, our cars won't be here, so you can't fucking steal it, you goddamn thieves. <laughs> Say what's up, guys. What's up? What's up, dude? What's up, Oh, y'all. Yeah, so we're here to watch a movie. It's Saturday. Got nothing else to do. Tomorrow we got a Zenith, quote unquote, Zenith barbecue. So we'll get that going tomorrow. When motherfuckers pull up to me, dog, I do this, I go. Fucking ricer with his cherry blossoms and shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He looks like the Toy Story troll. It's ghetto out here. Poor Lightning McQueen got his tires jacked. Is that game on point? No? No? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Maybe I should put those. Maybe I should put the real work meisters. <sighs> Alright. What a relief. We are actually finally back home. From what was supposed to be a simple pickup, show you what I got type of video. Turned into a tragic nightmare. My fucking beat popped. My fault. Anyways, fuck that stance life bullshit. Uh, back to the track build. Um, let's see what we picked up. So I ordered a, a couple parts. Uh, not everything's here yet because they're back ordered. But what came in was the blocks, block guard. Don't really need it, but fuck it, extra safety. Some will argue otherwise. Whatever. Um, titanium valve, single valve spring, and retainer kit. 
intake and exhaust valve seals, valve keepers, and my valve guides. That's all we got. Um, the head's gonna be pretty much fully built, except for maybe the valves. I'm using stock valves. Uh, but I have a stage 2 cam, crower cam coming in, and a cam gear. Alright guys, thanks for watching uh, another video. Um, it's Sunday now, we're on the way to a team barbecue, quote unquote team, because not everybody's going to be there. But it's Easter Sunday, so happy Easter Sunday to everybody. Uh, we're going to head over to my homie's Benson's house, he's going to host a little small barbecue right now. Have some fun, some cars, um, chill out with friends and everything. But a major thank you to Vex Motorsports for helping me along my build. And stay tuned for more. Thank you.